Hello friends, this is Ishwar here and in this video let us see how to install the Radon kernel on the Redmi Note 3. So let's get started. Here's the Redmi Note 3 running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow on MIUI 9 and this is gonna work on all MIUI 8 plus versions running on Android Marshmallow on the Redmi Note 3. As you can see it works on all lineage and AOSP based Nugget ROMs, works on all lineage and AOSP based Marshmallow ROMs and all MIUI 8 plus Marshmallow ROMs. Here's the features of this kernel and we can uh, just go through this so that we can get to know what is the improvement compared to the stock kernel and uh, I, I have read through all these and it is uh, pretty much great and better than the stock kernel and I would recommend anyone who is tinkering around with their phones and like to customize their phones and they can easily install it and have fun so here's some features of this kernel if you want to see and what I like the most of it is this charging speed which can be increased by ourselves. Let's get started on how to download this one. I will leave the second link on the description in which you can download this kernel. Just tap on this link where it says the latest MIUI 8 or 9 Marshmallow ROM and you will get this download page. Just tap on click here to start download and you will get a, a, get a list of servers. And then just select the primary download link so that it will download faster than uh, all the other servers. Tap on download to start the download. So after it is downloaded all you need to do is power off your phone. And then to enter the recovery just hold volume up and power button and it will start to boot to the recovery which you have. I will recommend the TWRP or recovery or the EZCH recovery or anything you have. Uh, to install this kernel so as now the recovery is booted we need to take a backup of our kernel which is the stock kernel so tap on the backup option and uh, enable system and boot so we need not backup the data and then swipe to backup it will take a few seconds to backup this so just sit and relax and wait for this backup process to complete now as you can see the backup is complete we can just come back press on wipe advanced to wipe and tap on dalvik or catch and catch and swipe to wipe this will erase our catch memory which is not our permanent data or something like that this is just the temporary data so you can wipe it without worrying about it so now you need to tap on install and search for the downloaded kernel which we downloaded and here's the radon kernel tap on it and then swipe to confirm flash it will take a few seconds to flash it and as you can see here's a GUI and we need to press on next and you need to select the fingerprint sensor you have which is the Goodits or FPC most of the Redmi Note 3's have the FPC fingerprint but if you have a Goodits fingerprint you need to search for it in the internet on how to find your fingerprint sensor but if you know that you have the FPC sensor just tap on it and then select next it wants to know whether we need to enable the SE Linux mode. Permissive gives more permissions to application, enforcing restrictions, some permissions. Choose enforcing if you are not sure. I am not sure which one to choose so I am just selecting enforcing SE, SE Linux and tap on next. It is asking keeping DT2W enabled will consume a little more battery. Yes enable it with vibration or yes, enable it without vibration or no disable it. I don't know what it is so I will just tap on next. Set your default tuning. This will tune your default kernel settings according to your requirement. Only use interactive kernel for maximum results. So here's it, here's three things balance the battery and gaming. I think I will use uh, both the battery and gaming config so I will just choose balance and tap on next. Keeping F sync enabled will give more stability. Keep this disabled if you prefer more performance over stability. I think I, ha I will need more uh, performance or stability so I will just tap on disable and here's the select quick charging support which I like the most this will set your match charging rate limit this does not affect users with stock charger so I will tap on quick and then tap on next want hand 
enhanced colors if you choose yes then display colors will be tuned keep live display off to see real colors and i think the no standard colors tap on next and it will start to install and it just installed in a few seconds and just we need to tap on next and it is asking me to try the radon kernel controls and let me tap on next try to unlock and then we need to reboot the system again it will take a few more minutes to restart the phone just sit back and relax until the phone restarts now as you can see the loading bar is here so it will take some more time to start our device So finally it has turned on and it literally took roughly about 10 minutes and I would like to say that if you are going to install this make sure you have sufficient time in which you are not going to turn on your phone like make it about 20 minutes of free time to install this kernel and it's going to be good to go. Now if you want to control your radon kernel uh, using an app then you just need to tap on this link in which you, you can just download it or I will leave a play store link in the description box below but it will cost you some 80 rupees or so to buy it and then you need to uh, install it for all those other users who uh, know how to install the apk file you just can install the radon kernel control apk from any website in the internet easily for free so that's all for today's video i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video hit the like button and uh, let me know your thoughts on this radon kernel after you install this if you want to share this video to your friends hit the share button thanks a lot for watching have a great day peace